Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna go over two new wave terms called the wave frequency and the wave period. So let's get started. So the frequency of a wave is defined as the number of waves per second or the number of waves passing one point each second. And to demonstrate this idea, imagine we've got this tap with a basin of water and you'll notice the tap dropping water droplets into the basin of water, creating ripples in the water. Just like would happen if you were to drop a large boulder or rock into a pond, you would expect these ripples of waves to be produced. Produced. And to talk about the frequency of the waves, if I was to choose one point along this diagram, so let's say I chose this point here where the cursor is, and let's say I counted how many waves were to pass at that point in one second. Well, in practice, it's going to be quite difficult because if we're trying to count something over one second, that's quite hard for a human to do. So human reaction time is going to be a problem here, but we can get around it. So what we could also do is instead of just counting how many waves are passing that point in one second to get the frequency, we could count how many waves are passing over a greater period of time instead. So let's say I had a little stopwatch and I wanted to count how many waves were passing in about 10 seconds. Well, if I play my stopwatch and I've got one wave, two waves, three waves, four waves, five waves, six waves, so about six and a half to seven waves. So let's round it to seven and let's say we had seven waves in that 10 seconds. Then all I would need to do to get my frequency is divide my number of waves by my time. So we had seven waves in a time of 10 seconds, so I'd have a frequency of seven divided by 10, which is 0.7 hertz. And going back to our notes now, you'll see that we have an equation for this. So we've got the frequency F here measured in hertz, so that's capital H small z for the symbol. This is equal to the number of waves divided by the time. So the number of waves has no units because it's just a number and the time is measured in seconds as always. That's the SI unit for time. So we have F equals N over T, frequency equals the number of waves divided by the time. And this is an equation that you'll need to be able to use. Now a common multiple choice question might ask you what is one hertz equivalent to? Well, if we look at the equation, the way to work this out is that we look at the units of the symbols in our equation. So over here we've got frequency, which is measured in hertz. So we have one hertz is equal to the number, remember there was no units for that, divided by time, which has the units in seconds. So that is the same as one over seconds, which is the same as saying per second, s to the minus one. So we have that one hertz on this side is equal to one per second on this side. So that means that one hertz is equal to one per second. The next wave term to look at, which is related to the frequency, is called the wave period. Now the period of a wave is the time taken for one wave to pass a point. And when you see this word period, hopefully you think of a time interval in your head, and that's because it's a time. So going back to our simulation here, if I wanted to find the period of the waves, what I would need to do is time how long it takes one full wave to pass a point. So let's say I start the stopwatch when one of these droplets hits the water and then I time how long it takes that wave to reach the end. So let's start the stopwatch for this wave and we'll just time how long it takes to reach this point here. So about four to five seconds, four and a half seconds. So what I measured there was the period of the wave because I timed how long it took that one wave to pass a certain point. Now just like for frequency, we have a equation for the period of a wave. So period is given by a capital T and this is measured in seconds because remember it's a time and the period of a wave is equal to one divided by the frequency and we've already seen an equation for frequency n over t. So frequency is measured in hertz just like before and you'll see that t equals one over f. So for this reason we can also describe the period of a wave as the inverse of the frequency. So remember inverse from maths just means one divided by something. That's all from me folks, I hope you found the video useful, if you did give it a thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.